This is the Airbus A33800, the A330 Neo family's member with the longest range. Announced at the Farnborough Air Show in July 2014, the A33800 was developed as a successor to the A33200. The aircraft took its maiden flight on November 6, 2018, with its distinctive design featuring the black mask around its cockpit windows, a characteristic shared with the A350. This design not only enhanced its aesthetic appeal, but also improved the cockpit's external visibility. Powered by Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 engines, the aircraft offered a more fuel-efficient and quieter performance compared to its predecessors. However, the A33800 faced a tepid market reception initially. Many airlines opted for the larger 900 version or the more advanced A350, leaving the 800 with fewer orders. One of the primary challenges was that its capabilities, such as range and payload, were closely matched by smaller, single-aisle aircraft like the Airbus A321XLR. This put the A33800 in a difficult market position, as airlines questioned the need for a wide-body aircraft with such specifications. But is this aircraft really that bad? Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Airbus A33800. Stepping inside, the cabin boasts a width of approximately 17.3 feet or 5.3 meters and a height of around 7.5 feet or 2.3 meters. These dimensions allow for a spacious environment that minimizes the feeling of being confined, a major plus for longer flights. The twin aisle configuration offers a roomy yet efficient use of cabin space. The A33800 can accommodate up to 406 passengers in a high-density layout. However, in a typical two-class configuration, you're more likely to see about 257 seats. The extra width of the cabin allows for a variety of seating configurations, from 242 in economy to 121 in business class, which gives airlines flexibility in customizing the interior. In a standard two-class configuration, the economy seats usually have a width of around 18 inches or 45 centimeters and a pitch of approximately 31 to 32 inches or 78 to 80 centimeters. Business class seats are often more generous, offering a width of about 21 inches or 53 centimeters and a pitch that can exceed 60 inches or 150 centimeters. The new airspace cabin interior enhances comfort further by offering ergonomic seats designed to provide better lumbar support. The A33800 offers larger, pivot-type overhead bins, a design choice that allows for more efficient storage. Each bin can accommodate standard rollerboard bags placed on their sides, maximizing the use of space and allowing quicker boarding and deplaning. The in-flight entertainment system is state-of-the-art. High-definition screens, USB ports, and power outlets are available at each seat. For those who can't disconnect, the aircraft also offers satellite-based Wi-Fi connectivity, ensuring you stay connected even while cruising at 35,000 feet. The cabin features the latest LED ambient lighting technology, capable of creating a myriad of moods that can be adjusted to reduce jet lag. When it comes to noise and vibration, the A33800 is engineered to minimize both. The Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 engines along with advanced soundproofing materials, make the cabin one of the quietest in its class. Airlines and passengers alike will appreciate the advanced air circulation and pressurization systems. The cabin is pressurized to a lower altitude, usually around 6,500 feet or 2,000 meters, which helps alleviate symptoms of altitude sickness. Additionally, the air is refreshed more frequently than older models, utilizing HEPA filters to ensure it is as clean as possible. Last but certainly not least, the lavatories are designed with practicality and convenience in mind. Touchless faucets and flush systems are a hygienic upgrade. The lavatories are also more spacious compared to older Airbus models, a subtle but significant detail for passengers. Now let's step into the cockpit. Upon entering, it measures approximately 10.4 feet or 3.2 meters in width and provides a comprehensive yet uncluttered field of view. The seats are adjustable and offer lumbar support, catering to pilots' comfort for those long-haul flights. The side stick controllers, an Airbus hallmark, optimize space and pilot comfort. Additionally, 
The design integrates electronic flight instrument systems that make navigation and system monitoring straightforward. The avionics suite is centered around the Thales avionics system, comprising four large LCDs, each measuring 6 by 8 inches. The interface is crisp and easy to read. These screens can be configured to show a variety of flight information, from primary flight display data to navigational charts, thereby increasing situational awareness. One of the most noteworthy aspects of the cockpit is the FMS, an advanced system that helps with fuel efficiency, routing, and various in-flight calculations. The FMS is a dual-dual system, meaning there are two main computers and two backup computers, offering a robust level of redundancy. It can execute complex flight plans and offer real-time updates on ETAs, fuel consumption, and alternate routes. The fly-by-wire control system allows for more relaxed flying with flight envelope protections that help pilots avoid extreme flight attitudes and dangerous situations. The cockpit features also communication systems such as VHF and HF radios for voice communication. In addition, it comes equipped with ACRs for text-based communication with the ground, thereby reducing the margin of error that could occur in voice transmissions. For navigation, the A33800 uses a multi-mode receiver that integrates the instrument landing system, microwave landing system, and GPS. This multifaceted approach ensures that pilots have the most accurate and reliable navigational data at their fingertips. Safety is enhanced by the Traffic Collision Avoidance System and the Enhanced Ground Proximity Warning System, both of which are essential in crowded airspaces and challenging terrain. Additionally, the aircraft features weather radar that can detect turbulence up to approximately 250 nautical miles or 460 kilometers away, offering an additional layer of safety. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The A33800 is powered by two Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 engines. These engines are the seventh iteration of the famed Trent family and offer a unique blend of performance and efficiency. The Trent 7000s produce a thrust of up to 73,000 pounds force per engine, making them not just powerful but also fuel efficient. The engine features a three-shaft layout and employs the latest technology in noise reduction, delivering a quieter cabin experience. The aircraft requires 8,200 feet or 2,500 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day with a maximum takeoff weight of 553,000 pounds or 251,000 kilograms and a maximum payload capacity of 97,000 pounds or 44,000 kilograms. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 2,000 feet or 610 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 41,500 feet or 12,640 meters. The plane has a maximum cruise speed of Mach 0.86 or 496 knots, a maximum range of 8,150 nautical miles, which is 9,400 miles or 15,100 kilometers, and a minimum landing distance of 6,000 feet or 1,830 meters. And finally, the base purchase price for a new Airbus A33800 is $260 million before options. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.